Hi, Adam Sweet here. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to play the F major scale on the mandola. Um, and uh, if you have any questions about playing scales on the mandola, um, I've already posted three videos on uh, how to play the C major, the D major, and the E major scales. So please go back and watch those because I've included a lot of tips and tricks about uh, pivoting your wrist and reaching the eighth fret with your fourth finger and all kinds of other cool things. So please go back and watch those first before you watch this one. All right, so let's get started. Uh, F major scale has one flat and uh, that is the B flat. So please remember that when you play the scale. Otherwise the intervals are gonna be the same as all the other scales. Root is the first note, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step, or root, whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. Just remember that all major scales use that sequence of intervals. All right, so we'll start with F. So C, A, uh, C, D, B, wow, it's a mandola. <laughs> C, D, E, F. So this is your first note. Uh, third finger on the fifth fret C string is an F. All right, so let's get started with the scale. So F, G, A, <laughs> B flat, C, D, E, F. Now, you can play two octaves in first position on the mandola, but you just have to stretch for that last F. So let me show you how to do it. So this is gonna, this F becomes the first note or the root note of the second octave. So F, G, <laughs> A, B flat, C, D, E, F. You see what I did? I stretched for the eighth fret on the A string, which is uh, the F, the high F, uh, the second uh, F of the two octave scale, F major scale. So let me do that again real slow without talking. So did you notice that I pivoted my wrist to reach that eighth fret? Uh, as I've explained in previous videos, it's perfectly fine to do that on the mandola. Uh, you just, all you are doing literally is you're just moving your wrist like that about half of it, half an inch. So you can reach the eighth fret with your fourth finger. If you have small hands, um, then pivoting is a perfectly normal thing to do for reaching the seventh fret. Um, if if you don't know this by now, you should always use your fourth finger on the seventh fret instead of playing open strings. And the reason for that is that you're gonna be playing in different keys and the open strings are not gonna be, always be available. So if you train yourself to use your fourth finger on the seventh fret, then you have the choice of either using the open string or using the closed uh, fret, fretted note, uh, instead of having being limited by what notes you can play on the instrument. I hope this is helpful. If you have any questions, uh, all the links to reach me are below and I'm online all the time, so I'm happy to answer any time. Um, you should go back and watch the previous videos because I do include some tips and tricks on shifting and some theory and stuff in those previous videos that I didn't go over in this one. Um, so thank you very much for watching. Uh, please subscribe. If you want to see more of this kind of video, click the like button and I'll see that and I'll know that you want to see more music theory type uh, videos. And I hope you have a great day.